year like there's this huge pressure on all of us to be good like going to the gym, eating all your veggies, even reducing your carbon footprint. But if you feel the need to break them all, there is one very exciting exception to all of those rules. Chocolate was invented to be enjoyed, and there's a whole tour dedicated to it in Sydney. I'm doing just a Whitman sampler of the three-hour tour, starting in the Strand Arcade at Hague's, Australia's oldest chocolate shop. They've been in the business since 1912, so they know what they're doing, as does our chocolate leader, Sheila Coleman. I'm going to give each of you two. I want you to put one in your mouth. Can I put both in? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> not now. Put one in your mouth. Really try not to bite it. Just let it melt on your tongue. And you probably know that dark so chocolate good. is really good oh, for yeah. us high in antioxidants, it's a very healthy food. I love it when that fact came out. Because <laughs> it just gave yeah. me free reign to just eat more Absolutely, and more that's right. And that's this right. day just keeps on getting me. It's just like putting a kid in a candy, I'm like, where do I start? Well, that one looks good. Mm. That one looks really good. Oh, doesn't that look spectacular? Where'd yours go? <laughs> <laughs> it's gone already. <laughs> Sydney makes it easy for chocolate lovers because our next stop is only a few blocks away in Martin Place at the Lint Cafe. Lint chose Sydney as the site for their first chocolate cafe in the world because Australia is the world's fastest growing chocolate culture. Oh, I love Lint chocolate. <laughs> Since it originated in Switzerland in 1845, Lindt has become a household name. Well, it is in mine anyway. Mm. Now, these little balls are what Lindt's really famous for, but the best thing about coming here is, oh, look at the choice. You get flavors here that you can't get at the supermarket, like extra dark, cookies and cream, oh yeah, and my personal favorite, Shock orange, oh yeah, I've got to have a go at this. Oh yeah, oh my god. But if you can afford to spread your naughtiness a little bit further, I've got to show you this place. By the way, it comes with its own private lift. Check this out. While chocolate is an affordable indulgence, the Diamond Hotel's penthouse opened in 09 is more of a luxury for most of us. Price available on application. There's room for a privileged party of six and it's the ultimate city pad with a balcony showing off some of the city's best angles. You have the option of your own private butler and I say if you've come this far, why not just keep saying yes? A word of warning though, when it comes to indulgence, you really need to know when to stop. <laughs> Book yourself a three-hour treatment with chocolate espresso. This includes chalky sampling and a guide and costs $70 per person. Virgin Blue can get you to Sydney with flights starting at $89 from Melbourne, $92 from Brisbane, $115 from Adelaide, $229 from Darwin and $239 from Perth. Hi there.